New video overnight showed a group raiding a container ship linked to a London-based Israeli billionaire in the Gulf of Oman near the Strait of Hormuz. Moments ago, Iran state media said Revolutionary Guard commandos carried out the attack and seized control of the ship. Today, the Israeli army vowed Iran will bear consequences for escalating tension. President Biden warned Friday that any attack by Iran would be a grave mistake. The attacks would be in response to the April 1st Israeli bombing of Iran's consulate in Damascus, Syria, that left two senior commanders of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard dead. Natalie Brand is at the White House with more. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Sources have told CBS News the retaliation could include attacks carried out by both Iranian forces and proxy groups Iran has been funneling additional arms to around the region. When asked about an attack, President Biden warned Iran, quote, don't. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. A message from President Biden to Tehran and its proxies as the U.S. also takes steps to protect its troops, personnel and facilities in the region. A U.S. official tells CBS News that the attack aimed at military targets in Israel could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles and even ballistic missiles used for long range strikes. Iran is trying to stress the, uh, the Israeli defense system. Retired General Frank McKenzie is the former Mideast commander. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. The Pentagon's top commander for the Middle East traveled to Israel as international leaders, including from the U.S., are trying to tamp down tensions. A U.S. official confirms that multiple messages, written and verbal, have been sent back and forth to Iran from the U.S. through intermediaries. I think revenge is coming, but I'm just not sure about that massive Iranian uh, sort of ballistic drone strike on Israel because that invites an American uh, retaliation turn. Alex Batanka of the Middle East Institute says he believes the Iranian regime will try to avoid U.S. intervention. You can't point to a single country in the region that really wants to see a regional war. I, I don't think the Iranians want it. I don't think the Israelis want it. Certainly the United States doesn't want to see it. Now, a defense official tells CBS News the U.S. is moving additional assets to the region to bolster regional deterrence efforts and also increase protection for U.S. forces. One of those assets is a Navy destroyer that has repositioned to be closer to Israel if needed. Jeff? Natalie, thank you.